section 1.1a, whole numbers and decimals, rounding whole numbers. Whole numbers are the counting numbers. This means numbers such as 1, 2, 3, and so on. Place value is naming each of the numbers place in the whole number. We will start with the ones place. After the ones are the tens, then the hundreds, After the hundreds comes a comma. This is also a nice place to remind us that the name will be changing. It's no longer a ones value, it is now a thousands. After thousands, it somewhat repeats in the sense that we use the word ten again. It is ten thousands. After ten thousands, we repeat again with the hundreds. So it is hundred thousands. Then we see another comma telling us there will be another name change, which changes to millions. This could continue with the next place being 10 millions, 100 millions, and then another name change to billions. As you can see, there is a pattern to help you remember. There is the name, then it's tens and hundreds. When you see a comma, it reminds you a new name is coming. And then you repeat the 10 with that name, 100 with that name. There's another comma, the name changes and you keep repeating this process. For rounding, we need to always be looking at the next digit. So it will tell you to round to one of these specific place values, such as rounding to the hundreds, and then that would mean we would need to look at the next digit, which would be the tens. We will need to be rounding up if it is five through nine, and we will be needing to round down if it is zero through four. Now, looking at examples of how to round, example one is asking us to round to the nearest thousand. We first must assess where the thousands place is. So we start with the ones and start counting up. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. The nine is in the thousands place. The directions told us to look at the next number. The next number would be a two. What we do with the two is we assess if we round up or round down. Since the two is zero through four, we must round down. Now what rounding down essentially means is taking all the numbers from the number we assessed to round down at all the way to the last digit and turning them to zeros. 5,459,000 and then we change the 2, the 4, and the 6 to zeros. We have now rounded down to 5,459,000. And it is now rounded to the nearest thousands place. In the next example, we have the same number, except this time it asked us to round to the nearest 100,000. Once again, you start all the way at the right and start counting the place values. We have the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands, and now the hundred thousands. This is the place we will be rounding to. 
We need to look at the next number and determine if we round up or round down. Since this number is between 5 and 9, we must round up. Rounding up tells us to take the place we are rounding to and make it one higher. Meaning, we would have keep the initial 5 the same, but since I am rounding this 4 up, it becomes a 5. All other digits become zeros, just as in the previous example. Only this time we had a round up. In conclusion, you round down if you have numbers 0 through 4. You round up if the number is 5 through 9. The number that you are looking at to determine this is the number next to the place value you are rounding to.